The problem with open differentials is that they send power to the wheel with less friction, which causes the wheel to slip, and that's not good when the car travels across a surface such as ice. So we need a slightly different design that limits the slip of the wheel with less friction. So we use a limited slip differential. The clutch-based version is probably the most common, so we will learn how this works. With the limited slip differential, we have the same main components. The drive pinion, the ring gear, the casing, the spider gears, the side gears, and the axles. However, we do have some additional parts. Behind each side gear, we find a clutch pack, which consists of multiple layers of two different discs. We have the clutch friction plates and the clutch discs. The clutch friction plates have a special textured surface which increases friction. Part of the disc extends outwards. This will slot into the grooves of the differential case. When the ring gear rotates, it rotates the casing and so the clutch friction plates will also rotate. The clutch discs are sheets of metal with teeth around the inner edge. These will slot into the splines of the side gears, interlocking the two together. When the side gear rotates, the clutch disc rotates also. However, the clutch friction plates do not interlock with the splines of the side gears, and so they will rotate around it. These two discs are stacked alternatively to form the clutch pack on each side. A spring is then inserted into the middle, which provides a light pushing force. And so the side gears will slightly compress the clutch packs. The friction material of the clutch plates will grip onto the clutch discs. This will temporarily join them together. And so they will rotate together. However, if a certain amount of force or torque is applied to the wheel, then the two discs will break this temporary joint and slip past each other. So, when the car turns, the wheels have to change speed. This will provide enough force to break the temporary joint, and so the side gears can rotate at different speeds, although the main casing will continue to rotate at the same speed. However, when the car travels in a straight line, the friction between the clutch packs temporarily locks the side gears so that they rotate at the same speed. The main casing will rotate with them and provides the pushing force. So, with the limited slip differential, when a car travels across a slippery surface such as ice, the power of the engine is distributed to both wheels, so the car gets some traction and is able to continue forwards. But this isn't possible with an open differential, and so the car will become stuck. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about automotive engineering. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and theengineeringmindset.com.